In this video, we are going to discuss the transition preview in Microsoft Expression Blend, which will save a lot of time when creating animations within your states. So let's do an example and let's add a control over the volume area of our iPhone application. So we would want this to not be visible. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is create a state, which we'll name volume. And then we'll add a state of off. And one more state of on. We'll paste our volume control within the middle of our iPhone application. And we'll come over here to the default transition and we'll increase this to one. And this is the preview. So you need to click that on. And then without having to build, run the project, you could just simply preview your animation within Blend, which will save you a lot of time to get the exact effect that you want because there's a lot of uh, easing functions that you could go through and you wouldn't want to run your project every time. This is a big, big time saver and it's a really cool feature that Microsoft Blend has added. This concludes this video on using the transition preview feature within Microsoft Expression Blend, and I look forward to any questions or comments you may have. Thanks.